Get ready to share a pizza your heart. I'm Anna Rumor with Pop Culture. And I'm Nick Valdez from comicbook.com. And this is Docked, where we offer our unfiltered opinions about the real love boat, because we've got some singles and they are hungry for love and they are really hungry for drama. <laughs> It was a very drama-filled week, Anna. Like, very, very drama-filled. It's exciting. Very. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm hype. Okay, so we're going in on the fifth episode of The Real Love Boat. And like you said, the drama is really piping hot this week. The women are empowered. We've got two new men joining us on the boat. I've got to know, right off the bat, what did you think of the episode? I'm all for it. This is, a, a, this is the messy stuff that I've been looking for from the beginning. More yeah. Nathan. It's a very Nathan-driven episode. <laughs> <laughs> He's our shining star. <laughs> yeah, he really is. He's really coming through for me, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> We're in Naples this week, which is amazing, and this episode made me very hungry because the entire challenge was basically bringing the couples together and asking them to make a pizza, like go out and shop for the ingredients and then make a pizza that is based on the story of their relationship. Um, at first I was like, what is this challenge? I would just be like, it's a cheese pizza. I don't know, whatever, this doesn't matter. And then they say that they'll give the winner 10 grand too. So I can make up whatever story about pizza needs to be made up for 10 grand. <laughs> we gotta get into the pizzas that the couples put together. I wrote down everything that they said things symbolized because none of it really made any sense. Um, so <laughs> we start off with Dean and Sarah who right off the bat were like fighting the entire time. Uh, wow, they were yeah. actually shopping. <laughs> What happened to Dean's goofy vibe? What happened to that funny guy that he's been this whole time? He got very, I guess when you introduced money to it, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's true. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Cause I was like, was he pretending to be goofy or maybe he just really wants 10 grand? I, I don't know. He was just, he was being a real piece of work to Sarah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, he was. And she was like, remember, I'm the one in power this week. You better be nice to me. And if someone has to say that to you, well, we'll see what happens with them at the end. But you know, <laughs> the beginning of the end for these two. Yeah, and they clearly did not win the challenge either, uh, despite no. Dean saying 20,000 times that he's Italian and he's done, he's cooked with his Italian family, he's used <laughs> sto stone ovens before, and you know, all of, none of that helped him. <laughs> not at all. I was, I was dying. I was like, oh, Dean, are you Italian? I forgot. You haven't mentioned it. 15 times in the last sentence. Um, <laughs> but their, their pizza also sounded gross. So they brought in basil because their first date was in a forest, which I was already like, oh, so we're just making whatever and then coming up with the story <laughs> afterwards. That's fine. And then prosciutto, because he loves Italy, we know. And then mm -hmm. olives, because both of them have personalities that not everyone likes, which I was like, ooh, a self own. That is a pitch, to be sure. Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> it, it just, it didn't sound good, and it clearly yeah. wasn't, you know, and compare that to Daniel and Shaylin, who were just yeah. like, oh, let's just soak up the fact that we're in Italy right now, which is, yes, it's the move. It, it is yes. the move. <laughs> they're so and, cute together. And they're like, their story was like, oh, we put honey on the crust because we we're sweet. And then we have different peppers that represent like, our love and our growth. They were just having fun together and I loved watching that. They're very cute. Yeah, that was the approach that they needed. Like, uh, like Jordan and Kendra too. They seem to have oh, yeah. just a very fine time. They also had the, I, I want to say it was like the like hot and spicy one, right? That it was the, yeah. <laughs> they, they had the best story, I think, out of all of them. Uh, I thought but, so too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Compare that to, <laughs> that you have like Nathan and Elisa, who Nathan, in his first like, <laughs> first real showing of like, yes, this is the Nathan I want to see, right? With his happy dance. And like... Yeah, he's so goofy when he's like with food. I don't know, it's something, he was a different Nathan this week he, and I enjoyed he seeing did say He did say he was a foodie, Anna. So maybe that's what it is, right? He pizza said he and wings. Pizza. 
Yes! <laughs> He's in his element. Oh, what a good day for Nathan. Yes, it was a really good day for Nathan. And he also oh, wow. they also had prosciutto and like just because Nathan's never had it before, so they that decided to put it on there. He's like, I don't know, I've never had it. I'm like what a story about your love. Yes. Love <laughs> and Fig, which he's like, I don't even know what that is. Like, I love you, Nathan. You're the best. I love Nathan so much. <laughs> and then, of course, you have Marty and Emily, uh, the power couple still. We'll, we'll talk about more of that later, mm -hmm. you know, but um, they, they used, like, sweet tomatoes and very, like, on-the-board kind of ingredients you would expect out of pizza. The onions, because we're peeling back layers of each other. I was like, mm, yeah. Shrek analogy coming through. <laughs> I always watch Shrek. <laughs> and, you know, and they ultimately win. You know, Marty yeah. did work at a pizza place, so maybe that's what it was. You know, he, he's, he's not Italian <laughs> like Dean, but... <laughs> but that means they win the 10 grand, which Marty says that he wants to use because he wants to, like, fly back and forth to see each other after this because he doesn't want to do long distance. Oh, like my heart. So cute. I, I know. What a way to use your $5,000. That's like two trips right there. How much are plane tickets? I don't know. <laughs> it feels like it, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> so they get to go to the captain's table again, which I feel like they should just have a permanent residency there. It seems like they're always at the captain's table. They didn't have a ton to say. You know, Emily and Marty are going back and forth about the whole physical thing. She's still wanting to be more conservative about it, not really get into it. He wants a little bit more physical touch from her. He says that's his love language. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I could see like a little tension there, but nothing that I feel like these two can't work through. Yeah, it felt a little awkward, right? When they were like, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, and she was like, he's being a little too serious about everything for me. I just want to vibe and have a good time. And I was like, well, he seems like a very serious man. I don't I like yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, and then also like he she wants him to like loosen up around her, but it's mm -hmm. tough because he also wants to respect her boundaries and her physical right. limitations. So, you know, he I bet that's what it is. He just doesn't know how much he can approach her in certain ways, and that's right. why there's this disconnect. And like you said, this is something they can work out because they are yeah. the power couple. This is the first time we've really seen them kind of fray a little bit but yeah this is might this might be what they need to get to that next level it was mm -hmm. very awkward whenever they just kept toasting to different things like one of them would be like well we're having a great journey and they'd be like here's to the journey and the next person would be like well we should have more fun next week and it's like here's to having more fun next week yeah i think one was like he let's be more competitive <laughs> yeah yeah here's to being competitive like yeah. okay <laughs> Okay, we we get it. It was it was just a tough night for them, and it, that happens to everybody, and even to power couples like Marty and Emily. <laughs> Following that, we get two new guys, which is the formula: the, bringing two new people each time. This is how you do it, right? Like, um, yeah, we we have a Deary who who is a very man's man. He came in doing uh -huh. exactly what he wanted. He came in his sweater vest, and he yeah. was ready to play. He was ready to play this game. <laughs> And I, I really appreciate that energy, you know? Really I do. did too, yeah. And right off the bat, he's like, Shaylin, hello, I love you. Daniel, scooch aside. I'm like two feet taller than you and like 10 years older than you. <laughs> and he was like, Shaylin, you are my queen. He was, yeah. he was he was laying it on a little thick, but that's also the game. Like, I, right. I understood it. I, I appreciated it. And then, then we have Dustin, who, Seems like such a cool dude. And mm -hmm. apparently Elisa thought so too, because right away she was like, oh, who's this new guy? And this is where this is where the spice starts to kick in, right? This is where things started shaking up big time. Oh, absolutely. She said, well, maybe if I talk to Dustin a little bit more, it will just kick Nathan into like a higher gear when it comes to me. I didn't believe that for a second. I was like, she is ready to leave Nathan in the dust. She does not like this man. We have thought this for weeks. I think she is looking for an exit plan. Oh, absolutely. Even the crew noticed that too, when they were like, oh, they've been on a friendship cruise this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they have, and it's not even a friendship because I don't think they get along. We have the date set up where uh, oh, Adiri yeah, yeah. and Shaylin go mm -hmm. on a very nice, like wine tasting kind of date. And yeah. it's clear he's that- me cornball. That is the unfortunate part. That is because he's laying it on so thick. I, I think that's where Shaylin started to notice some of that. But mm. she did say that 
he's the kind of type that she's been dating in the past. So, you know, we'll, I mean, clearly that didn't work out. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like honestly wasn't super worried for Shaylin and Daniel this entire time. I was like, I know they got to give, give us drama. But after, you know, a conversation, I was like, I don't think she's into this guy. He's just really, really laying it on thick, as you mentioned. Yeah, yeah. And compare that to uh, Sarah and Nathan, who who also was a surprising mix up. It's a mix up I didn't expect to see. But this is the mix up where <laughs> we're clearly OK. This is the game now. Here we are. Sarah was really feeling Nathan. Nathan actually spoke to her. Yeah. Which is interesting. <laughs> we saw a smile out of Nathan. Nathan looked like he was having a good time. We saw like personality. I love this Nathan. I actually really like this couple together. I was like, yes. oh, I totally believe that they have like a friendship at least or, or could have something more. They both looked like they were having a genuine good time. Yeah, I that was a Nathan I've never seen and yeah. I, I loved it. Thank you, Nathan. You are the gift that keeps on giving. Then rounding out the three is Elisa and Dustin, who were the other interesting mix up. She's really into him taking his shirt off and revealing his nipple piercings, which I was like, <laughs> I, the show just changed genres very quickly. Like I don't, we zoomed in. I, was like, I mean, oh, wow. they had to really, they had to really look at it in order to. <laughs> in order to we had to get a good look at that. <laughs> I got a better look than I was anticipating. <laughs> 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 But, but Elisa was feeling it. She, you know, and that's what's important with the women in power. She was, she was feeling him more than Nathan. Absolutely, because with Nathan, she didn't feel anything at all. So <laughs> it was very interesting going in. It was the first week in a while where we absolutely had no idea who some of these women were going to pick. Uh, Elisa's really been, uh, she's been playing the game this week very specifically. And it's really interesting conversation uh, with the men's side too, with like mm. Nathan going, oh, I was on a date with Sarah. And Dean was like, well, I don't want to hear nothing about that because Sarah's yeah. going to pick me anyway. <laughs> like, yeah, I was like, I'm not so sure about that, Dean. Remember who you yelled at in the market over like prosciutto. Yes. yes. <laughs> it was just, oh, wow. it was, it was a, a, a fun, like it was an interesting setup because then you also had Shaylin who didn't know whether or not she was gonna try Adiri or yeah. if she was gonna stick around with me, uh, with Daniel. So leading into the actual sail away ceremony, of course, Emily picks Marty, duh, right? Duh. right? Uh, absolutely, duh. Kendra mm. picks Jordan, which is okay, because we didn't really see them this I, like, week. I forgot they were on the show this week. <laughs> yeah. Like, where they just were off doing something, I hanging out. They took a break. Well, and then we had Shaylin with her, like, you know, choice between the two guys. And as she's deciding, like, Adiri jumps in to say something, and then, like, Ooh. Daniel comes back. And I was like, whoa, okay. I, if someone interrupted me at the sail away ceremony, I would not pick them. And she did make that choice and chose Daniel. Yeah, this was this was Adiri trying to make his final play and I understand it from a mm -hmm. game perspective, but mm -hmm. in terms of the whole laying it on thick, it just makes you think of like how much we didn't see, right? Like yeah. how how much was he really really pressing on her to like mm -hmm. make this impression and to cut her off as she was talking <laughs> and then, I was like wow. Oof. Oof, I was like, this is definitely not the move, not the move. And it clearly wasn't because she picked Daniel. So yeah, uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I was fine to see him go. He, well, I don't know. He brought nothing to my show. I was, yeah. I was not into it. <laughs> then we get to the big shakeups. Elisa and Nathan's blood pact has ended. It's done. <laughs> it's I, over. I couldn't believe it. When, when she said yes to Dustin, I was like, yes, Elisa, you did it. Think for yourself, go for yeah. your own interests. Because she has, like she says, she has been fighting Nathan this whole time to like try and get him to like her, basically. Yeah. And uh, I guess she's finally over it. I was over it for her weeks ago. So I'm glad that she finally realized that Nathan was not going to open up anymore because he does not like her. And she also does not like him. And now she and Dustin will get to you know, talk about, uh, what, they want to go to South America? That's enough. That's more than Nathan was giving her. Yeah, I mean, she actually knows something about Dustin compared to Nathan, yeah. who, who's who been nothing but a brick wall to her, which 
It, it's funny though, because Elisa, when she said no to Nathan, she really thought she was getting him off the boat. <laughs> because... <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you! No getting rid of Nathan! Because <laughs> Sarah picks Nathan over Dean, which yeah. is not surprising considering their connection, but it is funny for Dean. Because <laughs> 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 he's just like, well, you were a jerk, and this is what yeah. happens to jerks. It just it didn't is. work. I'm not gonna miss him either, because he was like silly and goofy at first, but then he really fell off of that and was just bringing like bad energy to the boat. So let's keep Nathan around. He's a lot more fun with Sarah. So, you know, I'm curious to see what that couple is like. I know, and especially because Nathan, like, I, my thing with Nathan is he finally starts showing emotion now, right? This is when, yeah. he, <laughs> this is when she said, it hurts that Elisa didn't pick me. But I'm I like, know. Need, but Sarah picked you. At least try and hide that a little bit, you know? Like, <laughs> I feel like he was making that up. That didn't feel genuine to me. I feel like he only just cares about staying on the boat. I think he just felt like he had to say something because it was a quote unquote breakup. And he was like, oh, yeah, no, I'm sad. I'm sad about it. Like winking at Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and Elisa, like, Elisa felt genuinely bad about it. And yeah. I. I don't understand that. Maybe it's because of the blood pact that they they shared, but <laughs> it could be the blood pact. <laughs> you know, you know, you know what happens whenever those are broken. They get pretty serious. <laughs> now, now it's going to be very awkward with Elisa yeah. and a dump Nathan on the ship. I, I, so I think this is this the first time that someone's been dumped and then picked up by someone else. It, at least whenever it was like an established relationship. Maybe in the first couple weeks it happened, but it was before anyone like really was together because that didn't yeah. really count for me and so dean and adiri were told to shove off and wave to the off. boat and dean started crying a little bit which was okay where was where was this dean where were you <laughs> dean you should have been nicer i'm excited to see what happens next week um and if you guys want to join us next week for doc we're here every week we're recapping the real love boat um so ciao for now